Welcome to the I Am Church in Jacksonville, Senior Pastor Anthony Mincy. We are a local church with a global impact where the people of God learn their identity in Christ. We pray that our services will be a blessing to you and your family. Now, let's join the I Am Church worship service.
your mother that's what he said you gotta hate your father and you gotta hate yourself in other words you got to love God more than anything thank God for the best worship team in all the world we bless you tonight amen certainly we have a word word from the Lord tonight coming from the book of Job the book of Job 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 chapter 14 Job chapter 14 and it and these are the words that comes from the words from the book of Job verse number one says man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble now I don't know about you but I'm a bit concerned to know that if my life is going to be short why I got to have so much trouble in such a short time. If I had a subject tonight, my subject would be suited for you. Suited for you. The definition for suited is fitting or appropriate, a good match for each other. <laughs> you know, we normally say that when we see couples. Boy, they sure look good together. Boy, child, that couple, know they look good together. They look, they suited for one another. They, that's a good fit right there. But have you ever thought about your trials being a good fit? Hmm. Have you ever thought about your trouble being a good fit? You know, it, it, it reminds me of David. You know, I'm, 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 I'm reflecting on how how God can stage your promotion and he stage it with trouble. Hmm. See, we all want to be promoted. I, if I wish, if I, if I ask for the hands of those who want to be promoted, everybody in the room will raise their hand. But, but if trouble came with that promotion, would you want it? Suited for you, David, young shepherd boy, watched over his father's sheep, protected the sheep, if any wild animal came and stole the sheep, David surely would go after that animal and retrieve that sheep. 
But David didn't know that, that God was prodding him and preparing him. He was going through a process of, of, of being prepared to face a lion, a Goliath, a Goliath, a Goliath, a giant by the name of Goliath. He had no idea why he was why he was practicing with his slingshot. <laughs> Lord have mercy that one day he would be facing a giant that would stand taller than every every soldier in the in the Israelites army. And he even would stand and said, uh, challenge the champions in, in Israel and say, why don't y'all send one of y'all uh, uh, bravest men, uh, one of your champions to fight Goliath. And, and guess what? Nobody came out. But because God prodded David, <laughs> because God prepared David to, to face this, this Goliath, uh, David went to take his, uh, his brothers some lunch. And in him taking them lunch, the Bible says he, he looked and saw this uncircumcised Philistine, saw this unsaved giant. And he said, he used these words. He said, who are you to defy the army of the Lord? That's how you ought to see it. You shouldn't, you shouldn't take it personal when you have to face trials. <laughs> You shouldn't take it personal when you have to face trouble. You should look at it as though it is aimed, not at you, but aimed at the almighty God. <laughs> because he that despises you, God says, he despised me. And he who heareth you, he heareth me. But if he don't hear you, how is it he's going to hear me? So it's suited for you. Somebody says suited for me. I, I don't like it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like the troubles I have to go through. I don't I don't like them, but 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 it's suited for me. It's just for me. You can't go through what I go through and I can't go with you. Go through what you go through. It's suited just for you. And that little lad, David. I have to go back to David. David facing that Goliath and. And he wasn't scared at all. He took out his slingshot. And, and, and thank you, Holy Ghost. I don't think there was nobody else in the camp who was prepared to do what David did. I don't believe nobody else was practicing with their slingshot because these was mighty warriors. They 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 was used to throwing spears and bow and arrows and 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 pulling out their sword, but they they're not used to taking a slingshot and taking a rock. <laughs> Lord have mercy <laughs> and 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 winding it up and shoot, letting it go. David, Lord have mercy. David was the only one among the Israelites who was prepared to take. Go lie it down. Somebody say suited for you. It was suited for him. It was fit for David. It was a good match for, for David to be in the right place at the right time. And, and, and what I love so much about this is that the Bible says in Job 14 and one man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Israel was facing their trouble. David was facing this giant and took out his slingshot, got five smooth stones. Hmm. Now he only took one and slayed him, but he had four left because it was five of those brothers. David was ready to take them all out. <laughs> Bring the other brothers if you want to. Bring the other giants and I'm ready for all of them. Somebody say suited for you. God got a, got something uh, just for you. And, 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 and what I love so much about this whole scenario about David is that God was using that to prepare him to become the king of Israel and Judah. Somebody said promotion. The Bible says in, in Psalm 75 and 6 says promotion comes neither from the, from the north or the west, but promotion comes from the Lord. He'll take down one. And raise up another. Saul, King Saul was taken down and David was raised up in his stead. Don't you know that God got some positions for you on planet Earth? That God got some places for you on planet Earth that he's preparing you for? And you don't even see it. You don't, you don't even see yourself as being prepared for what you're facing. Mm. <laughs> you know when we, when we have trouble, y'all know what we do. When we're going through something, my God, all we can think about is what we're going through. <laughs> 
Oh, boy, I'll be glad when this is over. <laughs> oh, Lord, I need your help with this right here. Lord, help me. You use more of your time concentrating on what you're going through rather than who's going to take you through it. Can I get me a witness? <laughs> See, the Bible says that um, in Psalms, uh, Psalms 34 and 6 says this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him. Somebody said delivered him out of all. Somebody said all out of all his troubles. Anybody, anybody ever gone through something? Anybody and you ever you ever gone through a situation and you called on the name of the Lord and he delivered you from your trouble? Somebody said, Lord, I thank you that trouble don't last always. Trouble will come, but it won't last always. Now, 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 I have gone through some things and and uh, and I felt around. Have you ever did this? Have you ever gone through something and, and you was just like a blind man? You trying to feel your way through that thing. <laughs> Anybody ever done it? You ever, ever tried to feel your way through? You you tried everything. You try to go to sleep and sleep it off. <laughs> you try to talk to somebody and talk it out. You try to you try to pray and pray it out. You try to praise and praise it out. You try to worship and worship it. You even tried to fast it out. And it was still there. <laughs> The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God, but somebody said, but God, <laughs> deliver them out of them all. Deliver them out of them all. I mean, God is so awesome and, and God is, is so vast in his in, in himself and his and he's so awesome in his power that, that God can get you out of anything. Somebody say anything. Oh, it's suited for me. It's suited for me. I'm just like this. What I got on right now It's suited for me. I, uh, it was I was fitted for this. I wish I had me somebody. You ever had a, a suit made? It was tailored just for you. Nobody else couldn't fit that like you fit it because it was designed and stitched just with you in mind. Suited for you you oh your trouble your trouble your trouble is suited for you your your trouble that you're going through right now is tailor-made just for you the bible says in psalms 34 17 the righteous uh, cry the righteous cry somebody say holler Make some noise. <laughs> Make sure God hear you when you holler. <laughs> it says a righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Um, <laughs> I want you to know it don't matter what you're going through. That God is going to see you through. God is going to bring you out. Somebody say I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this. Because it don't, it don't matter. It don't matter how much, how much trouble you go through. It, it doesn't even matter the magnitude of the trouble. Because the, the greater the trouble, the greater the hand of God. <laughs> I said the greater the trouble, the greater the hand of God. See, God gets more glory when your trouble is magnified. <laughs> oh, I feel good tonight. I said God gets more glory when your trouble is magnified. The more you going through, the more glory God's going to get out of that thing. <laughs> oh, I'm about to preach up in here. Now, now in, in Psalms 46 and 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Now, see, I don't know about you, but there's some times I can't even find God in my trouble. I can't trace him. I'm looking for him. I'm, I'm, I'm praying like Job. Y'all know what Job did. Job went through some stuff, y'all. Uh, Job went through some stuff. He had some friends that didn't even have no comforting words for him. The words that they had for Job. Job says, y'all just like physicians with bad medicine. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Have you ever went to the doctor and you looking for the doctor to help you? And he gave you some medicine that didn't help you at all. The, the medicine he gave you just made you worse. <laughs> That's what some, some counselors do. They don't make you better. They make you worse. Some some of your friends that's, that's called themselves counseling you, that call themselves uh, uh, helping you through your situation, ain't doing nothing but making it worse for you, making you feel worse than you felt while you going through. Well, I'm feeling good tonight. Uh, I, I, I remember when I was in school, I had some friends who can draw real good. Anybody had them, them friends who can draw real good? And, and I was a tracer. 
I was a good tracer. I can get your drawings and put me a clear piece of paper over it and I can make it look like yours because <laughs> I can trace it real good. See, see, I, I want you to understand something about tracing, about tracing. Tracing has a pattern. You got to follow. Somebody say you got to follow the pattern. See, when you can't find God, you got to use every avenue that God has given you to find him. I feel good tonight. See, the problem with many of us, the reason why we can't trace God is because we be using things that we, we, we use one area, which we'll pray and we'll keep praying. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep praying. That's it's all right. Praying is good. Praying is good. Praying is good. But 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 you sometimes you got to put the word out. You got to mix that prayer with some word <laughs> and even when prayer and the word don't work you got to use your faith somebody said faith <laughs> you got to stand up and do what jesus said he said whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou plucked up and be removed and cast into yonder sea he will have whatsoever he said, there are times you just got to say something. I wish I had me somebody. <laughs> mm. <laughs> if you can't find him in reading the word, if you can't find him in when you're praying, sometimes you just got to say something. I wish I had me a witness. <laughs> you got to blab and grab. <laughs> so the neighbor said, you got to blab and grab. You got to, you got to talk to your situation. You got to tell that mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. <laughs> in order to trace anything, you would need the pattern of the original copy um, see you got to find God by tracing him uh, at his word somebody said his word in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word was made flesh uh, you got to understand in order for you to find God you got to use uh, the regiments you got to use uh, uh, mm, you got to use the ingredients you got to, yeah 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 you got to use the ingredients uh, that God has in order to find him. And the ingredients you find God with is you got to find him in the word. Somebody say in the word. You got to find God in prayer. Somebody say in prayer. Now, now see when you pray, somebody say when you pray. Jesus told you how to pray when you pray. He said when you pray, pray our father. Mm. I said pray our father. See the reason why many of us don't get nothing from God when we pray is because we're praying pray amiss. We pray to consume upon our own lust. I said we pray amiss. We pray with a double mind. We pray not knowing whether we're going to get it or not get it. I wish I had me somebody. We say God's going to do it one minute and the next minute I don't know how to find him. You say God is going to do it one minute and the next minute you say I don't know how he's going to do it. I wish I had me somebody. You got to stop confessing with your mouth the wrong thing. You got to say the right thing you got to tell yourself say self God's gonna work this thing out it don't matter how he's gonna do it I know he's gonna do it the problem with many of us we try to help God y'all better help me preach I said we try to help God we try to see our own way through y'all better help me preach you say oh that's how he gonna do it right there and then you be disappointed when he don't do it like that I wish I had me a witness you got to be like the five Hebrew boys I, I mean the three Hebrew boys it was five and all if you count them right I wish they had me a witness but only three of them went and got in the fiery furnace I said only three of them Daniel didn't go in with them I wish I had me a witness all of them didn't go in the fiery furnace it was three of them it was it was Meshach Shadrach and a bad Negro Ooh, he had to be a bad Negro because he had his brim on when he went in the fire I said he had his brim on when he got in the fire the Bible says why they was in the fire the reason why I said it was fire of them because it was Daniel Daniel didn't go in the fire it was Meshach Shadrach and a bad Negro and Jesus showed up I wish I had me a witness the king looked down in there and he said hey I thought we threw through in there I thought it was a tray of them I thought it was three of them I wish I had me somebody and they represented the father the son and the Holy Ghost I wish I had me somebody they saw Jesus in the fiery furnace somebody said suited 
is suited for you. Your fire is suited for you. Your trouble is suited for you. I know you got fire on your jaw. It's suited for you. God is preparing you for a greater job. God is preparing you for a greater career. God is He's preparing you for better. Somebody say better. It's suited for you. I wish I had me a witness. The Bible says in John 16 and 33, these things, and that's Jesus talking, is found in your Bible in red. These things I've spoken unto you that in me, somebody say in Jesus, you might have peace. In Jesus, you are exempt from war. In Jesus, you have no need to fight in this trouble. Talk to that neighbor. Say, neighbor, in Jesus, you don't have to fight in this war. He told Jehoshaphat. He said, Jehoshaphat, I see the Syrian army. I see them all circling around you. Preparing to battle with you, but you have no need to fight in this battle. The battle isn't yours, they ain't fighting you, they fighting the Lord. The battle isn't yours, it's the Lord. Touch that neighbor, put your hand on your head, and say, The battle is not mine, it's the Lord. The Lord is fighting my battle, the Lord is fighting for me. I wish I had me somebody in me. You might have peace. Somebody say shalom in me. You shall have tranquility in me. You shall have quietness in me. You shall have calm in the Lord. I wish I had me somebody. Somebody say yeah. I feel like preaching. Yes, I do. These things I've spoken unto you that you might have peace in the world. Somebody say in the world. We got to understand that we're in the world, but not of the world. We're in the world, but not of the world. He said in me, you gonna have peace. But look out baby, don't be counted by surprise. Don't act like something strange happened. But in me, you gonna have peace in the world. You gonna have COVID-19 in the world you gonna have the blue plague in the world you gonna have polio in the world you gonna have the flu in the world you gonna have a cold in the world you gonna have AIDS in the world somebody help me preach in the world you gonna have herpes but in me in me you gonna have peace in the world you gonna have tribulation walk with me I feel like preaching in the world you're gonna have trouble but be a good cheer tell somebody to celebrate you ought to celebrate right there but be of good cheer be of good cheer hold your chin up I wish I had me a witness I said hold your chin up because in the world you're gonna have tribulation be of good cheer um, um, I have overcome the world. Yes, he did. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. Good God Almighty. All you got to do is get in me. All you got to do is get in him. Have you ever played as a child? You played with the jack in the box. Anybody ever played with the jack in the box? You kept turning and you kept turning. You had no idea when the jack gonna jump out the box and you kept on turning I wish I had me some money you kept on praying and you kept on praying you kept on announcing what the word said you kept declaring what the word said you kept on fasting and all of a sudden Jesus jumped out the box Lord have mercy Jesus jumped out the box and work everything out somebody say he worked it out Jesus he worked it out the baby need a new pair shoe he worked it out worked it worked it he worked it worked it he worked it out I feel like preaching up in here up in here somebody said preach preacher
I'm I'm about to put the Bible on my own head. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. The Bible said in 1 Peter 4 and verse number 12, I'm almost finished y'all. And I got to preach this thing the way he gave it to me. He said in 1 Peter 4 and 12, somebody said beloved, say beloved. He talking about me. I say, say, beloved, it's suited for me. Somebody say, beloved, it's appropriate for me. Say, beloved, it's fitted for me. Say, beloved, say, beloved, it's suited for me. He started out saying, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you y'all know y'all think it's strange y'all know y'all be when you're going through something you say oh not me not me i'm a child of god i shouldn't be going through nothing like this <laughs> y'all better talk y'all better come on over with me <laughs> if you get this you're gonna be all right from now on <laughs> you're gonna be when something happened you ain't gonna count it strange i wish i had me a witness i had everybody feeling so sorry for me last year y'all know y'all feel sorry for me y'all know y'all wanted to take past him and, and take him out to dinner y'all want to y'all want to take past and have prayer with him y'all want to lay your hands on him. y'all know y'all did y'all know y'all y'all pitted for y'all pitted for past but it was suited for me <laughs> i wish to have me somebody I said it was suited for me it was fitted just for me God had cut that pattern out just for me to step in it I wish I had me somebody before the foundation of the world God had already suited your trouble everything you ever gonna go through while you're on planet earth he have already set it in course he have already set it in motion all you gotta do is keep walking with him walking with him he said follow me the problem with many of us we're not following him he said follow me and don't you know if you follow Jesus he gonna take you through your trouble because he said I have overcome the world y'all didn't get that girl off that uh, organ over there beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you somebody say you now he ain't talking about me, he talking about you. Somebody, somebody say you. They don't, don't be pointing at me. He say you. Now when he say you, you take it personal. Somebody says a personal pronoun. <laughs> you, not me, you. I wish I had somebody. You got to say you. Somebody say you. Uh-huh. As though some strange thing happened unto you. Now don't think it's strange when you go through stuff. But rejoice. Somebody say rejoice. Now this is the appropriate man, uh, attitude and behavior you should have when you're going through trouble. Somebody say but rejoice. Why should I rejoice? In as much as you are partakers uh-huh, you're suited. Of Christ's sufferings, you're going through what Christ went through. You're, you're doing it for him as he did it for you. You know, the Bible does tell us, it says, beloved, he says, uh, uh, let this man be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Didn't that what it said? And then it also says, if you suffer with him, you also reign with him. Isn't that what the Bible says? So if we believe all that, then why don't we just embrace it and say, you know, this this too will pass. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, one, one thing I learned. I, I learned this. I learned this. I learned this. Uh, <clears throat> trouble don't last always. Good times don't either. <laughs> there's a balance. Tell somebody I said there's a balance. There's a balance in, uh, with, with prosperity and meager days. There's a balance. Paul said, watch what Paul said. Paul said, he said, he said, whatever state I find myself to be in, I find myself there with to be what? Content. For godliness with contentment is what? Great gain. All I got to do is be, 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 um, be happy and be content with my relationship with Jesus. Lord have mercy. Somebody said that's more than enough. That's more than enough right there. Now, but rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's sufferings. That, watch this, when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. In other words, he's going to share his glory. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, send your glory. Somebody said, Lord, send your glory. The glory comes with the price. I said the glory comes with the price. 
it, it reminds me it reminds me of, of the apostle paul 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 said something that's so 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 important he said and, and we got to get to this place huh it, this is a place we all have to get to paul said out of all these things that i had to face none of them moved me <laughs> now I got to read something to you because I want you to get this. I want you to get this what this man what, what this man is saying right here. The apostle Paul, the man who persecuted the church. The apostle Paul. The apostle Paul who watched them stone Stephen to death and held their coats while they was doing it. He watched it. The apostle Paul who killed Christians if they professed that they was a Christian, if they professed that Jesus Christ was Lord, he killed them, imprisoned them, beat women. This Paul, this is the one I'm talking about. This is what he wrote in Acts 20. He said in 22, and now I go bound. The same one who used to bind Christians is now in bond. Somebody say he's in bonds. And now I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem. Not knowing, watch this. See, you ain't got you ain't you're not gonna you and I are not gonna know all the things that we're going through. Am I preaching? He said, not knowing the things that shall come that shall befall me there. See, some places you go, you ain't gonna have no idea what's getting ready to happen. You're not gonna even be prepared for it. I wish I had me somebody. But but watch this. He said, save the Holy Ghost witnesses in every city the holy ghost is everywhere somebody say he's everywhere saying that watch this saying that bonds and afflictions abide me now the holy ghost has already told paul what he's about to go through in jerusalem but none of those things move me has the holy ghost ever told you you're about to go through something and, and you wasn't moved by it? You, you you know why you shouldn't be moved by it? because he told you you're going through it i'm with you we got this <laughs> Somebody said, we got this. Now he says, but none of those things move me. Neither count I my life dear unto myself so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. This man said, the reason why they didn't move me, watch this. Now, it was a, uh, one, one, of the, one of the disciples, one disciple, he was an evangelist. He was an evangelist. His name was um, Philip. Philip had two daughters, and they, and they were virgins. And the daughters prophesied to Paul. And, and Agap Agapus, Agapus was a prophet. And he prophesied to Paul. And he told Paul, he said, now the man who he took, what, what he did, he took the, 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 uh, the belt that Paul had and, and he, he bound himself. He bound his hand and his feet. And he told them, he prophesied, and he said, whoever wear this is going to be bound. And Paul said, that don't move me. Lord have mercy. See, you got, I wish y'all get this. And they was, and watch this, the prophet prophesied to him and then the prophet tried to discourage him from going. Anybody ever prophesied to you something and then try to tell you not to do it? That's what they was doing. Paul said, uh-uh. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. This is my assignment. I'm suited for this. Somebody said, I'm suited for this. This is my fit. Glory to God. This is my fit. I, 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 I've done things, and, and I'm talking about Christians have said, uh, I, I wouldn't go through that if I was you. <laughs> yeah, I, that wouldn't, I wouldn't do that if I was you. I'll I, I do this like this. I'll do it. Well, I'm not going to do it like you're going to do it. I'm going to do it like I'm suited to do. <laughs> Somebody say, I'm suited to do it just like I'm doing it. It, it. it may not be looking good, but it's looking God. And if it's looking God, it's looking good. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. This thing is looking better than you think it looks. <laughs> because I'm not walking by, by sight. I'm walking by faith. Somebody said, we walk by faith and not by sight. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us tonight. I hope you got something from this word. I hope God said something to you that, that helped your life alone. I, I, I believe that the Lord said something tonight 
directed to us, the church. What we've gone through, what we're going through is suited for us. It's just for you, it's just for you. Don't be discouraged, don't be dismayed. Just know everything's gonna be all right. It's, it's gonna be all right, it's, it's gonna be all right. It's suited for you. <laughs> It's suited for you. The trouble that you're going through is suited for you. I, I feel. I feel like. Uh, I, I feel a melody. I feel a melody. Tell somebody. Touch that neighbor. It's suited for you. It's suited just for you. It's suited just for you. I'm gonna talk to all these future members. Amen. I'm talking to all these future members. It's suited for you. Amen. I prophesy to you and 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 I prophesy to you. Amen. On this broadcast. Not only is it suited for you, but I hear the Lord saying that what you're going through has a timeline, an expiration date. See, it's not like... Um, when you go to the grocery store, you already know that it's going to expire because you see the expiration date. But your trouble has an expiration date on it, but you don't get to see it. <laughs> That's faith, isn't it? See, when you walk by faith and not by sight, you don't know what's about to happen ahead of you. You just got to take the step. Tell somebody you just got to take the step. You don't know you can walk on that water. You just got to put your feet down. You got you to step into it. You got to step into it. Knowing that God got you. I feel somebody being helped tonight. I feel it. I do. I do. I do. I do. So I, I feel somebody going. Your, 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 your transition. Your transition has changed. I see a metaphoric. I, I see a change in your situation. I see. I, I see. Your, see, sometimes. Watch this. Watch this. Sometimes. Uh. Yvonne, people think that they're helping you and they're hurting you. Uh, like like the butterfly, the, the, he's a caterpillar. He's he, he's a caterpillar, and he and he gets into the cocoon, and and he has to struggle. He has to struggle. He has to struggle. And and when you see him struggling, you think you you need to help him because he's struggling. But he's struggling because he's making a metamorphosis. <laughs> He's struggling because he's changing. Good God Almighty. See, the reason why I look like I'm struggling is because I'm making a change. I'm, I'm making a metamorphosis. I'm, I'm going through a, a transition. I'm going through a, a transformation. And then you go by there with your little stick. And he falls out. And he never makes it. Become that peculiar butterfly. Because you just killed him. Sometimes people kill you rather than helping you. Be careful who helps you. I, I, I think I prophesied just then. I said, be careful who helps you. Let me have my struggle. Let me go through what I'm going through. Somebody said, just pray for me. Yeah, don't, don't put no words on it. Just pray for me. Just when you by yourself, just pray. That's all you need to do. Just pray. Because when you put words on it, you then you acting on sight. Not faith. You acting on sight. You're going by what you see and not by what you hear. If you're with us tonight. You never knowingly or willingly ask Jesus Christ to come into your life as your Lord and Savior. This is your night. Oh yeah, you see me with my red on, the crimson blood. The blood. The blood. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. The blood. The blood of Jesus. He shed his blood for you and me. They hung him high on Calvary. They stretched him wide. He dropped his head. And he died for you and he died for me. This is this is an opportunity. This is a, a, a beckoning call. This is I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know tonight that salvation is suited for you. God is waiting for you to step into your suit. 
transition from your from from your caterpillar stage into your butterfly stage. Come on over on the Lord's side. You come on over. Come on over, over on the Lord's side. See, so you can't see your beautiful transformation over here as a caterpillar. But when you come over on this side and you see that beautiful butterfly, you see that transition. And yes, you're going to be unique too. You're going to be different from everybody else who's saved. You ain't going to be like everybody else. You're going to be unique. Just like God created you to be. Just for him. Come on over. The Bible says the word is neither even in thy mouth. The word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in thine heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And with the heart man believe unto righteousness. And it says there is no difference in the Jew and the Greek. For God is rich unto all who call upon him for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ha! And how can you hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? There is no difference. God has no respect of person. I just got a jump start on you. I've been saved for 40 years, but guess what? If you get saved today, you have the same rights as I do. You ever went to a restaurant? And when you was in the restaurant, everybody that sat down, they gave some bread. Did they put bread on everybody's table? I don't care how much you were spending, everybody got some bread on their table. Now, if they happen not to give you your bread, you're going to ask the question. You're going to ask them, say, where's my bread? Don't bread come with this? I wish I had me a witness. Uh, don't bread come with this? See, when, when you get saved, hallelujah, when you get saved, bread benefits come with being saved. Benefits come with being saved. The Bible says in Psalms 103, it says, watch this. Forget not all his benefits, who healeth all. Isn't that what it say? Who healeth all thine diseases. I, I'm preaching to somebody tonight. God want to heal you tonight. God wants to heal you tonight. Put your faith on it. I said, put your faith on it. Put your faith on it. Just like when you get when you get that bill from that restaurant, you put that credit card or your money on it, don't you? And and, and it takes care of the bill too, doesn't it? It took care of what you what you got, didn't it? And what you gonna get tonight, I'm telling you, put your faith on it. Put your faith on it. God wants to heal you tonight. Put your faith on it. He wants to save you tonight. Put your faith on it. He want to deliver you tonight. Put your faith on it. God ready to promote somebody tonight. He ready to take somebody to another level in your walk with him. Put your faith on it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Somebody say, I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm among the glee club. I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel like uh, the prophet Isaiah. Lord, here am I. Send me, I'll go. Send me, I'll go. Come on. Come come to Jesus tonight. Let this be the night in which you say I'm saved. Ooh, ooh. Glory to God. Let this be your night. May 25th. May 25th. 2021. Let this be the night that you give your life to the Lord. Let this be the night that you, you are born again. Mm -hmm. Girl, you hitting that thing tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I hear them chords. I hear them chords. I hear them chords. But let this be your night. That you turn your life over to the Lord. You'll never regret it. You'll never regret it. On this day, 2021 you can be born again at 751 this can be your night to turn your life over to the Lord thank you all for being with us tonight God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you
Amen. We hope you were blessed by the worship experience at the I Am Church. Make sure you share this word with your loved ones. Remember, there are three ways you can give. Number one is website giving. Open up your web browser and type in www.tiacjax.org and click on the giving tab. Number two is giving through Cash App. Open up the Cash App on your Android or iOS device and enter your amount you like to send and search the I Am Church and click send and you will get a confirmation. Number three is using the Giblify app on your Android or iOS device. Thanks for watching and we hope you were blessed. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel at TIAC Jax and like us on Facebook and Instagram. And for those who just gave their life to Christ, please visit TIACJax.org backslash salvation and fill out the contact form. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week.